viewers, you are welcome to the Lord TV, your number one fantastic reality TV that gives you all that it takes to be enlightened on trending news, such as politics, entertainment, sports, and what have you. If you are new on this channel, kindly click on the subscribe button as well as already subscribed. So please don't forget to drop your comments anytime I drop new videos. Thank you. Ciao, ciao. Viewers, we have another interesting trending news for you today. And the headline is Abakiari review what will happen to Nigerians in three months time over oil price crash. But before I proceed, I would like to appreciate you for the time spent and patience in subscribing to my channel. Don't be weary, continue as I continue to sensitize you with information that will be of great benefit to you. Don't forget to click on the like buttons and share these videos so that others too will be of great benefit of what you are benefiting. Don't forget to click on the red subscribe buttons as well as the bell buttons to get updated anytime I upload new videos. The news in details. Group Managing Director of Nigerian National Petroleum Corporation, NNPC, on Wednesday cautioned Nigerians to plan for increasingly financial difficulty considering the current multi-year low degree of unrefined costs in the universal market. A spread of COVID-19 across more than 90 nations constraining the shutdown of enormous economies combined with value war proclaimed by Saudi Arabia planned for rebuffing Russia due to its refusal to agree to facilitate creation cuts brought about the most reduced oil costs since 1999. At the second consultative roundtable with Central Bank of Nigeria, CBN, Governor labeled going for growth too in Abuja, the most extravagant dark man on earth, Alhaji Ali Kodangote, likewise communicated frustration at the enduring mountain of plans to expand the economy once there was an accident in oil costs. Many underscored that the oil business was the most significant division of the economy, yet mourned that Nigerian banks were still too constrained to even think about financing it. He prompted Nigerians to plan for in any event three months of hardship for the economy regardless of whether the market recuperated from the value stone quickly as it will require some investment for the impact to wear off notice. We should expect that cost will still low. The suspension during the current year is $60 per barrel unrefined. Petroleum cost as a normal now we are confronting 30 and we haven't seen the base. Today, there are more than 12 LPG loads stranded, all inclusive, in light of the fact that they have no center as a result of the unexpected breakdown sought after related explicitly with coronavirus. It is evident and it has likewise hit different areas from the creation arrange, which is the fluid unrefined. Thank you for listening to this news. Viewers, I will say that I'm not comfortable with this that is uh, about to happen to uh, this sector of Nigeria economy, the, the oil sector. That is to say, Nigerians should get themselves prepared. This is the reason why I said that information they say is wealth. 
how could one know about this if one is not um, conversant with the internet if one is not uh, it's not it's not uh, uh, logging into channels of this kind to get informed concerning what is happening around the world you can see what uh, what's about to before the oil sector and if one doesn't get himself prepared for this and this and this come to that to to to, to nigerians unexpectedly this is this uh, then the person was going to suffer for for a very long time and this is uh, it's not it's not going to be okay so my opinion on this is that i i i uh, uh, i'll say this when the oil price was high nigerians were suffering due to money that leaders were embezzling so many things happened our leaders they keep embezzling and it's it's it's, it's as a result of their embezzlement that keeps to the continuous increase in the in the price of oil and which is which 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 was not even encouraging at all i know many 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 nigerians that 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 have to uh, uh, abandon their car because of this um, increase in oil i know many nigerians that stop driving despite the the cars that they have because they can't be able to meet up they can't be able to meet up and because of the increase in oil price a, a lot of things a lot of sector in the nigerian economy are affected yes it will because this same oil is what is used for so many things that we are using today the, the increase in oil price affects so many sectors of the economy. Are we are to talk about the transportation sector. If there is no oil, definitely the, the price of transport will increase. Are we talking about the agricultural sector? If there is no oil, then the price of food will increase because the more the more the 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 the, the, the oil they use in transporting these products are from the uh, 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 it, it, it is the oil that they use in transporting these products from from where is is being produced to to the cons to the final consumer so definitely there will be an increase in the level in in the sales of these products so so many things so many sectors of the economy will be affected and we are still affected so now that it is low it will be good if all of you if all, all of all of you will refund part of what you have taken from the national pulse which which is which is the right thing to do but I know that Nigerians, because of our greed and wickedness, none of them would want to do that. I don't blame President Mumbari that sometimes it 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 it, it tries um, to make sure that he collects uh, collects do, those those money by force by making sure that he probe them one after the other. I don't know why Nigerians focus their attention so much on oil. They believe that it's only oil, oil that they can that, that they can be able to see the kind of money that they are looking for, and by so doing, it keeps affecting the the, the average Nigerians. It keeps affecting the average Nigerians, so you can see. You can see. Well, I I just pray that um, that uh, this doesn't continue. I was believing that as soon as Dangote refinery starts working, start working at least this issue we are facing in um, in uh, in in oil sector, we deduce it will deduce at least the the price of oil will re will reduce because of uh, because of Dangote refinery that can be helping to refine our oil instead of taking it abroad. 
because that alone is also is also contributing to to uh, uh, to to to, to uh, the, the negative effect of the Nigeria economy. It's not it's not encouraging at all. So I would say that um, that um, Nigerians should get themselves prepared for this and make sure and also um, um, advice to the NMPC they should st still try to see if there, is, there will be a lasting solution to this but of which I believe because I believe that nothing is impossible so what is your own opinion on this news don't forget to leave them behind click on the subscription buttons as well as the bell button to receive more updates thank you